Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Today, I want to talk to you about something I think is kind of critical and serious. Since we're starting a new week, I'm going to say a lot of this with risk of many of you may think I'm radical. Many of you may decide you don't want to watch anymore. Many of you may think I'm grandstanding. And some of you might actually hear what I'm going to say. But I'm going to say it anyway. Over the weekend, it's quite obvious that through the events that have been happening over the last couple of years, but this weekend, a huge earthquake again in Turkey, killing thousands of people, is a catastrophic event that normally would never happen in that country to that magnitude. We're seeing this happen all over the world, everywhere. We're seeing volcanoes popping up where they've never been before. We're seeing earthquakes happen where it's never happened before, tsunamis happen that are creating devastating problems and challenges for everyone. Some people would say these are evidences of us being in end times. And I'm not so sure that they're not correct. What I want to talk to you about today is something that is really, really critical to yourself and your own survival. You know, each one of us, when we live our lives, things happen to us. You know, people do things to us. We grow and we become angry and cynical sometimes, and sometimes we survive all of those things that happen to us. But what happens is it creates filters, the way we view things, the way we see things. In my career over the last 30 years, people come to me with problems and challenges, and most of the people that work with me are, you know, upwardly mobile people, smart people, a lot of business people, extremely successful people people with family issues, marital issues, want help with their boards of directors to how to keep their business on track, how to develop a business. I work with all kinds of stuff, but it all comes down to one thing and the way we think about things. And I found a common denominator in all of these things with all the people I've worked with over the years. It really comes down to one simple solution. If they'll change the way they think about things, things will change in their business, their life, their marriage, their relationships, their money. So today, this is big. Each one of us have these filters, and these filters are built around the way we are brought up, the way we look at things, and it starts when we're just an infant. And today I'm going to ask you to really, really hear what I'm saying. And I've talked about this stuff before, but I'm saying it today with huge, huge impact that I want to get through to you. If you're in a crisis in your life right now, I want you to look at what's going on in your life. Not everybody else's life and what's wrong with them, but what's going on with you? Are you angry? Are you pissed off? Are you in a relationship possibly that seems like it's not working for you anymore? Are you in a job that you think sucks and the people there are terrible and you can't stand being there and it's too much pressure and everything's on you? Are you in a place in your life where you're just disgusted and you want to give up? Like you have no job, you have no house, you have no money, and what's the use, what's the purpose of life? You know, this is the reality where we are right now. You know, in Europe right now, people are killing themselves and shooting themselves and burning and blowing up buildings and rioting and just literally raising hell with everyone because they've been pushed as far as they can be pushed. And I believe that's coming to our shores because I see it right here where I'm at. I saw it today right here in Northern California people being pushed about as far as they can and now they're walking the streets screaming and yelling carrying signs the next step is starting things on fire and rioting and looting there's mob robberies now where a mob of people go into a building and just take everything and wipe out this business person who's worked their entire life how's that okay now what's that got to do with you here's what it's got to do with you if you're in a relationship right now whether it's business, whether it's with your kids, whether it's with a friend, 
or maybe your spouse and very possibly this relationship is not going the way you want it because you become a big victim over what they've done to you over your life. You know the reason that's happening is because of the way you're looking at the relationship. And you've allowed things to happen, yes. However, is it really that other person? Are they really that bad? Sometimes they can be, sometimes they're not. Is that boss really that sinister? Or is it the way you're looking at what's going on through your little bitty filters? And believe me, all of our filters are little bitty. Every one of us has a different perception of reality. And the truth of the matter is there is no reality. It's how we look at it. It's critical to your soul and survival right now that you reconcile these things. And if you're in a problem relationship right now, if you're having trouble in your life and you're making an island out of yourself and separating yourself from your friends and your family because you've had as all you can handle, you could, you've just had as much as you can have, it's time for you to open up your filter. See that the challenge for you lies within you. And open your filters enough to say, I'm going to heal this and make that decision you're going to do that. Not by throwing out everyone in your life and becoming an island, but rallying people to you again by changing the way you look at all of this and deciding starting today, yes, all of those things may have happened to me. However, today I'm going to change the rules. And the way I'm going to change those rules, I'm going to find love and forgiveness rather than anger and frustration. And I'm going to start managing this coming from that perspective. You see, we have to take a more gentle approach, not for the sake of other people, for the sake of us, because you can only get so angry until you pop a cork. Today, it's really important that understanding where the world is right now, we're in a huge paradigm shift. Things are changing, whether you like it or not. And if you're going to survive it, you have got to calm down. You have got to understand you're responsible for your future. And it doesn't mean isolating yourself. It means making up. It means saying I'm sorry and allowing that other person to soften up too and become approachable again. Allowing yourself to become loving again. Allowing yourself to become a person that attracts people to them, not repels people because they're afraid of you. We've got to rally together right now. All of us have to have a like-minded consciousness that says we can solve this and we're going to love people anyway. And we're going to allow people to be who they are. We've got to give ourselves permission now to let our anger go. It's not helping us, it's hurting us, it's making us sick. Today, I'm asking you to take a good hard look at yourself and what can you do differently today than you did yesterday in order to start healing your relationships with your kids, with your husband or wife, with your business partner, with the people that have wronged you. I'm not saying you got to take them out to dinner and kiss them. I'm saying it's time to have a conversation of love, caring, and forgiveness. And if you want rules to change in your life, first they got to change in your mind so you can communicate with people. Otherwise it will never get solved and you become part of the problem, not part of the solution. I know, I thought about doing this tune-up and I decided I'm going to do it anyway. We all got to do this. It's not just you, it's me too. So today, let's start. Let's work on this. And let's start approaching life with love. And it starts by looking yourself in the mirror each day and say you love yourself. And you're going to start healing these relationships today. Not tomorrow, not someday, right now. Till tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you a very, very enlightening day. Bye-bye.